Hey there, everybody. Phil here for AndroidCentral.com with, once again, the HTC One. So I want to walk you through the new app drawer in Sense5. Uh, yeah, on one hand, it's an app drawer, right? But they've done a lot to this, and not all for the better. So when you first open it up, it's going to look like this, and it kind of looks like a big 3x3 three three grid, though that's not quite right. See, you have that widget up there. It's the clock and weather widget that uh, actually you see on other places of the phone. It's the same one that's on the lock screen. Uh, open it up, and it's actually the same one that's over here on top of Blink Feed as well. So it's also in the app drawer, which is kind of a weird place for it because I know what time it is. It's right up there at the top of the phone all the time. Anyway, scroll down, and it disappears. So now you actually have a 3x4 grid in the app drawer. So it's a much cleaner look, but you don't get as many uh, apps, right? You also have this little options bar, and we'll go through that in a second. And again, if you scroll, it disappears as well. So on the left here, you have a little drop down menu custom, alphabetical, and mo most recent. So uh, those are your sorting options for all these apps. Now, custom is important because that's what lets you do folders in the app drawer, and that's new. It's kind of a big thing, it's kind of cool. Um, HTC has set some up for you and you can make your own just like on a home screen you just drag the icons on top of each other to make a folder and then you can give the folders names so that's cool that's good uh, to take it out all you have to do is drag it out and folder be gone and see the apps go back the way they were so that's cool right uh, you can also sort alphabetically which I think is the way I prefer it it's just easier on my brain because I know where things are supposed to be and you see now you can't make a folder so you can only do that on the custom in fact you get a little uh, note down there at the bottom that tells you. So you can only make folders when you're in the custom view. Same thing for more, uh, for uh, most recent, right? So we'll go back to custom for now. Also, you have this option to uh, search. So if you have just dozens and dozens of apps and you don't want to scroll through it, you can actually start typing and it will search through the names and it, it drills down. So as soon as you start typing it, it starts uh, drilling down through them. You have a shortcut directly to Google Play. I don't have that set up yet. And then you have this overflow menu for hide apps, manage apps, and grid size. So hide apps is kind of cool. So anything in here that you don't want to use, this is different than, than uh, disabling. This just hides it from the app drawer, right? So I'm going to hide seven and uh, flash settings. And you see now they're gone. If you want to get them back, it's just as easy. Sorry, right, they're, they're not anywhere on here. If you want to get them back, you just go back to hide apps and then uncheck them. So that's kind of a nice thing, actually. I, I like that a lot. Um, and then what else? Manage apps. So this will take you into the settings menu, into the uh, normal applications place. So nothing you haven't seen before. And then grid size. So this is how you change the grid size from a 3x4 to a 4x5. I think I like 4x5 better. It's just more natural for me. It's um, I'm used to more apps like that, right? And again, scroll down so you can get all actual 4x5. Um, I th for me, that's a better look, right? Maybe not as clean for some, but uh, you get more apps that way. And again, alphabetical. And now you can see the full 4x5 look. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's what, like 20. We're doing math here, folks. Um, so that, those are the grid sizes. That's a big important thing as you start because you're probably going to want to change that. Now, watch this. All right, so here's the big deal about moving apps to the home screen. See, I had to drag it up there to the top left first. We'll do it again. So here's the clock. You go up to shortcut, and now you can put it on the home screen. That's different than every other home screen just about in the existence of Android. Normally, you just hold down, and it goes straight to the home screen. In this case, you have to drag it up to shortcut first. Um, you know, I can think of a couple of reasons they did that. Here's the other way to do it, and that's if you go into the personalize uh, and then customize home screen section. You can just drag them on directly like that. It's a little easier this way, I think. So the reason that shortcut thing is there, I think, is because you have the folder actions, right? So this is, differentiates that, and it says, "All right, you're holding it. You're not going to want to make a short, or you're not going to want to make a folder. So now we're going to put it on the home screen." Okay, it's a little tricky, um, and it's an extra step and a little tougher on my brain. The other new thing down here is this launcher bar, uh, and that's technically what HTC calls it. You can call it a dock. Anything that's in that will not show up in the app drawer, and I'm not crazy about that. So, like the camera, you know, you see doesn't show up listed in the app drawer, right? And so that's a little tougher on my brain. It's alphabetical. I expect to see it. So all in all, they've kind of complicated things a little bit, I think. That's it. Hey, everybody. It's Phil from Android Central, and if you want to help out the site and look good, go get the best damn Android t-shirt anywhere from shopandroid.com. Thank you